What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I am bringing you my top 10 potential forbidden door surprise entries in the men's and women's 2022 WWE Royal Rumble match. We have five from the men, five from the women. Now, a lot of talk of the Forbidden Door has been around recently in the overall wrestling community. Uh, all of this mainly stemming from the fact that Impact Women's Champion, uh, Knockouts Champion, excuse me, Mickey James is going to be in the Royal Rumble, which has led a lot of people to believe that maybe some other talent from Impact or AEW maybe uh, may come in and make a special one night appearance in the Royal Rumble meaning the Forbidden Door which is obviously the door that is in between all the companies has been kicked down and uh, we can see some non-WWE talent in the WWE Royal Rumble. So without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, I don't think that many people will. I honestly don't think there's going to be really any Forbidden Door talent in the Royal Rumble, but a lot of people do. So I put this list together for you. Without further ado, let's get on to my number 10. My number 10 spot is the Impact Wrestling World Champion, Moose. Now, Moose has teased being in the Royal Rumble match on Twitter, and I think out of everyone on this list, if it's going to be anyone, it's going to be Moose. You've got the Impact Knockouts champion, you may as well bring over the Impact World Champion. And, and I quote, on the 9th of January, Moose tweeted this, I claim to be the wrestling god. He claims to be the head of the table. With all this forbidden door talk, what if... At WWE, Roman Reigns tagging the Tribal Chief, the Universal Champion, in his tweet. So will we see Moose at the Royal Rumble? I don't know, but I think out of everyone, he's the most likely. Coming up next, we have my number nine and my number eight. I've put them both together because these two should be put both together. We, of course, are talking about Jesse McKay and Cassie Lee, formerly known as Peyton Royce and Billy Kay, the current Impact Knockouts Tag Team Champions, the inspiration. Will they return to being iconic for just one night? Now, I think it could happen, uh, honestly. Out of most of the women of wrestling, I think that these two coming back to WWE is probably the best possibility of another Forbidden Door crossover. But I hear they're not really that interested in it. I've heard that TNA, uh, or Impact, excuse me, said that, you know, if you want to go, you can. But they've said that they're not really, uh, they don't think it's the right time to return to WWE. But that could all be a ruse. So there you go. My number eight and my number nine are the Iconics, Peyton Royce and Billy Kay. Will they be in the Rumble? They might be. Coming in at number seven, we have another Impact wrestler who is also a GCW wrestler, former GCW World Champion, current ECW Television Champion, Matt Cardona, formerly known as Woo 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 Zack Ryder. Will Zack Ryder make a return to the WWE? He might do. I think genuinely, if there's going to be a Forbidden Door crossover, it is going to be with Impact Wrestling. If you, if one hundred percent, if we ignore everything I've said so far on this list, legit, if there is anyone that is coming over from the Forbidden Door, it is from Impact, and that's why I think the main one is Moose. But you've also got to think guys with history in WWE, guys that didn't cut their ties like badly with WWE, didn't burn that bridge, could have a chance of being in the Royal Rumble. So Zack Ryder, could he be? I don't know. I'd like to see it. He has actually dominated independent wrestling, mainly GCW since leaving uh, the WWE, becoming a top hill in uh, GCW, uh, even debuting that horrific spinner GCW Universal Championship. Uh, but yeah, I think Zack Ryder could be maybe for in for a one night return. We're just going to have to wait and see. Coming in at number six, we have the first All Elite Wrestling wrestler on this list. And it's not just anyone from AEW. It is the AEW Women's Champion, Dr. Britt Baker. Now, Britt has been vocal on Twitter about her dislike for WWE and uh, how she probably isn't going to go there. However, this could all be an arranged work. You never know. And what would be crazier than having the top women's champion of the top rival promotion coming to the Royal Rumble. Do I think it's going to happen? 
No. But would it be awesome? Absolutely. Britt Baker in the Rumble would absolutely be phenomenal. Coming in at the halfway point at number five, we have a wrestler that made a surprise return in the Royal Rumble last year and has since then won the Impact World Championship and signed with All Elite Wrestling. I, of course, am talking about Christian Cage or what would be known as just Christian. Could we see Christian cross over through the Forbidden Door and come back in the Rumble once again? Now, this one, this one I think is likely. If you're going to have a Forbidden Door come over from AEW, it's going to be Christian, is it not? I mean, to, just, last year was just something else. And part of me still wishes that he re-signed with WWE. I would have loved to have seen him go for the Intercontinental Championship against Big E. I feel like that story was there to be told. You know, uh, Christian I had to uh, drop his match with Big E back in like 2014 due to his injury and retire. And having Big E be the Intercontinental Champion again when he returned, it would have been awesome. But... Christian decided to leave and go to All Elite Wrestling, where he's been doing fantastic, so you can't knock him. However, he didn't burn that bridge with the WWE. He didn't leave on bad terms. They didn't leave a sour taste in anyone's mouth. So I think it is entirely possible that we could see Christian Cage in the Royal Rumble. My number four on this list is quite controversial. We have the first ever female Impact World champion Tessa Blanchard. Now Tessa Blanchard left Impact. I believe she was the champion when she left and uh, we haven't really seen her wrestle since. We haven't seen her wrestle in over a year. Now it's known out there that she doesn't really have a good attitude. Um, so you know there was rumblings, there was rumours when she left Impact about a potential WWE debut. But it never came to be. Uh, so could it happen now as a, as a one night thing in the Women's Royal Rumble? Would you guys want to see Tessa Blanchard? Of course, she was even featured in WWE 2K Battlegrounds as part of like uh, a, a, a photo, like a cartoonized uh, photo on the menu or something. I don't really remember it. It was over a year ago. But, you know, there has been a crossover already with Tessa Blanchard in WWE. Could she be in the Royal Rumble? Now, this is another one that I think... No, I don't think she is, but it would be crazy if she was. Coming in at number three, we have Chris Jericho. Now, Jericho didn't burn that bridge either. We have seen him reconcile with WWE briefly recently as of last year when he appeared on the Stone Cold podcast, which was obviously greenlit by Vince McMahon. So, and Tony Khan... Obviously, don't forget that. Tony Khan as well. So, does that mean that Tony Khan would greenlight Jericho to maybe appear in the Rumble? Now, honestly, Chris Jericho isn't exactly, uh, you know, he's not exactly fresh in WWE fans' memories. We haven't seen him for like four years. And there's been a lot of controversial stuff that's gone on there. Uh, you know, a lot of character changes as well for Chris. So, if he was to come back, would he be the current Jericho? Or would he, you know, switch back to Trunks and be Y2J again? I don't know, but I think it would be awesome just to hear break the walls down one more time in a WWE arena. But let me know what you think. Will Chris Jericho be in the Royal Rumble? My number two isn't really a forbidden door because she's not actually signed anywhere. This is just someone that I feel would be more fitting putting on the forbidden door list than the surprise return list, just due to the unlikelihood of it and the situation that she is in. I am talking about AJ Lee, the wife of top AEW star CM Punk. We haven't seen AJ Lee wrestle since WrestleMania 31 in 2015. Uh, I believe that was the last time we saw her. And ever since that point, fans have just absolutely just wanted AJ to return, you know, she is a prime example of a superstar that was in the wrong generation. Five years later, if she debuted, she'd have been in the women's revolution, but she wasn't. She was the top final diva, I guess you can say. Same sort of boat as Paige. So would AJ Lee return to WWE, especially after what happened then firing Punk on his wedding day, on her wedding day too? I don't know. Uh, I don't think that she will return to wrestling at all, really. I think she's made that perfectly clear that she's done with wrestling. But then again, so did Punk. So we'll just have to wait and see. But without further ado, let's move on to my number one. My final 
prediction slash hope slash potential forbidden door surprise entry in the 2022 men's Royal Rumble match is Dean Ambrose. Now, just listen, just hear me out. John Moxley has just returned to AEW TV after being away rehabbing due to alcoholism. Who paid for that rehab? WWE. WWE have a clause in basically everyone's contracts that say if you ever need rehab or I think like therapy or anything like that, they will pay for it uh, even if you don't work there anymore. And that's what they did with John Moxley. They paid for his rehabilitation. So as a thank you to that, could we see Mox make a one night return to the Ambrose character and enter the Royal Rumble? If that wasn't enough evidence, last week on SmackDown, Seth Rollins even mentioned him by name. And we have Rollins and Reigns feuding right now. They're talking about their S.H.I.E.L.D. past. They're name dropping Moxley. It could happen. I think it could happen if it's, it, it really could. John Moxley, Dean Ambrose in WWE for one more night. You cannot tell me, just hear me out, set the scene. Imagine the pop if we hear the countdown then the buzzer, then this. Uh-oh, the lunatic fringe! You cannot tell me you don't want to see that. Dean Ambrose, one last time in WWE. But there you go. That is my top 10 list of potential Forbidden Door surprise entrants in the WWE 2022 Men's and Women's Royal Rumble. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Now, legit, I really don't think we're going to get any Forbidden Door entries as awesome as it would be. I think maybe Mickey James and Moose, but other than that, I don't think there's going to be anyone else. But this list is purely, you know, just fantasy just what i would love to see not necessarily what i think is going to happen but anyway i want to know your thoughts in the comment section down below do you think there's going to be any surprise forbidden door entries this year in the royal rumble let me know i've been joe from joe that's wrestling you guys have been awesome like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video goodbye